NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission set out on a risky expedition to gather a sample from the potentially dangerous asteroid Bennu, and what happened just shocked everyone. So this sample return is proof, again, that NASA does big things. The sample return canister finally touched down on Earth after years of waiting. The room was filled with whispers of awe as the scientists took out the lid. But what surprising finding did they uncover? Well, before I reveal that, can you do me a quick favor and hit the subscribe button so we can get this message to the entire world? Thank you. Now, let's get right into it. Scientists at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston just opened a canister from the OSIRIS-REx mission. It contained a priceless item from Bennu, a potentially hazardous asteroid that's been circling our solar system for billions of years like a frozen time capsule. As the lid was removed, the room was quiet. And then, pure astonishment, a layer of black dust and dirt covered the canister's avionics stack. The surprising discovery left everyone in the room wondering how this mysterious substance escaped the sealed container. The sample weighed 100 grams more than what was initially gathered on Bennu, which added to the mystery. This discovery wasn't simply puzzling. It also suggested that the asteroid's ancient pieces carried hidden secrets. Can we learn about the origins of our solar system from this black dust? Could it contain clues about the very building blocks of life? Above all, what will scientists discover from the thorough examination of the biggest asteroid sample ever brought back to Earth? The OSIRIS-REx mission started on its journey with three daring and ambitious goals that would push the limits of space exploration when it launched on September 8, 2016. The first objective is to gather samples. In order to learn more about the fundamental elements of our solar system, the mission sought to collect pure material from the surface of Bennu, an asteroid. This sample would assist scientists in uncovering mysteries that would have been kept concealed for billions of years by providing a unique look into the structure of early asteroids. Asteroid characterization was the second goal. Astronomers needed to map Bennu's surface, determine its geological composition, and evaluate its potential as a resource for upcoming space missions. Since knowledge is the most powerful tool in space exploration, they had to fully understand Bennu, including its size, shape, and mineral composition. The final goal of the mission was likely the most urgent, analyzing the threat of Earth's impact hazard. Bennu is classified as a potentially hazardous asteroid because its orbit crosses the path of Earth. Scientists would use the mission's results to assess the threat this asteroid poses to Earth and direct any future protective measures that may be required. On September 25th, 2135, Bennu is expected to approach Earth, which may seem like a far-off event. It's anything but simple. Bennu's path will be somewhat changed by the gravity of our planet, but that's just the beginning of the challenge. Because of Earth's gravitational pull, as well as the influence of non-gravitational factors like the Yarkovsky effect, astronomers have a difficult time determining its precise path. It functions as follows. When sunlight strikes a spinning asteroid, its day side heats up, and as it turns, its night side cools and releases the heat. Over time, this cycle gently changes the asteroid's path by producing a slight but constant force. At first glance, it may not seem like much, but over millions of miles and years, it can drastically change the course of an asteroid. The notoriously difficult modeling of the Yarkovsky effect complicates the task of pinpointing the exact location of Bennu's approach to Earth in 2135. We only have a vague idea of Bennu's future course as we don't know exactly how this force will affect its orbit. Given the high stakes, this uncertainty could leave us holding our breath as the asteroid gets nearer. Scientists needed to take into account various potential parts for Bennu, particularly because the Yarkovsky effect could influence its movement in multiple ways. The intersections of some of these routes are referred to as gravitational keyholes, Earth's gravity would precisely bend Bennu's path if it were to pass through one of these keyholes. This could put the asteroid on a collision track with our planet in a later orbit, late in the 22nd century. 
Although the likelihood of this occurring is minimal, scientists aren't taking any chances. They're going the extra mile to gather as much information as they can. The journey to Bennu was not a simple task. Reaching the asteroid took a total of two years and four months. Osiris Rex eventually reached its destination on December 3rd, 2018, having travelled around 1.4 billion miles or 2.2 billion kilometres. When it started orbiting Bennu, the real work started. Scientists conducted a number of surveys and mapping exercises to choose the ideal location for sample collection. The sample collecting event on October 20th, 2020 was the most exciting part of the Osiris Rex mission. This was a significant turning point in space exploration and the climax of years of planning and hard work. The spacecraft collected the valuable sample from Bennu using its touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism, or TAGSAM. The spacecraft's main body would be equipped with this special robotic arm, which would make brief contact with the asteroid surface and collect materials to be placed in the Earth return vehicle. The task was extremely difficult because Bennu is a very small asteroid, only half a kilometer in diameter. Moreover, the endeavor became significantly more challenging because the arm had to operate in nearly zero gravity. This was a make or break situation with no room for error and Osiris Rex only had one. When the spacecraft finally touched down on Bennu at a location known as Nightingale, the team held its breath. A burst of nitrogen gas was used to stir up and lift surface material into the sample collection chamber, making sure that a sufficient amount of material was collected. Although the mission set the sample size criteria at 60 grams, the true achievement was collecting a sample that could solve problems that have persisted for billions of years. Osiris Rex gathered an incredible 300 grams of material during the brief 9-second contact with Bennu, five times the amount NASA had predicted. But then something went wrong. The sample was enclosed, but some material was able to escape because a flap jammed due to larger rocks. NASA decided to forego the sample's planned measurement and sealed it for its return trip to Earth in order to stop any additional loss. Osiris Rex left Bennu on May 10th, 2021 and started the lengthy journey home. Over two and a half years later, the spacecraft approached Earth's orbit and released a capsule that contained the sample from the asteroid. The spacecraft used a parachute to halt its descent after entering Earth's atmosphere at a dizzying 12 kilometers per second. It landed safely at the Utah Test and Training Range where NASA technicians soon collected it. A couple of days later, scientists at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston eagerly opened the lid of the sample return canister. They were excited and caught off guard by what they saw. The canister's avionic deck was covered in a fine layer of dark powder and particles the size of sand, most likely from Bennu. In addition to its interior, this dust blanketed the canister's exterior, including the area where the electronics were located. But let's take a pause for a moment because things are about to get really shocking and if you're still watching right now, you clearly enjoy this content and would love our members community. It's an area where you get to see all our new content before anyone else and get to see exclusive videos not released to anyone else. If you want to learn more, check out the link in the description or in the pinned comment. Now, let's get back to it. After the dust leaked out of the canister through microscopic openings between the lid and the body, scientists were left with a significant question. How did this happen? NASA claims that during Osiris Rex's brief landing on Bennu, the spacecraft produced a shock wave that spread across the asteroid surface and ejected some objects into space. Some of this debris clung to the outside surfaces of the spacecraft as Osiris Rex retreated. It also entered the sample canister through an open flap and mixed with the material that the spacecraft's touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism had gathered. The sample's final mass, including the dust and debris, was approximately 400 grams, which was significantly more than what NASA needed to meet its scientific objectives. The sample was kept in excellent condition, shielded from high temperatures and contamination during its return journey to Earth. Scientists faced a special problem when they discovered dust and debris on the avionics deck. They now had the delicate task of handling and cleaning the sample canister with care, using specific tools and methods to remove the debris without damaging any material or harming the delicate electronics. Since every piece needed to be painstakingly recorded and catalogued, 
every dust particle and piece of debris was important. These seemingly small particles were essential to the sample inventory because they contained information that would help solve the mystery surrounding the creation of our solar system. This sample return mission is a groundbreaking event, but you might be wondering why space agencies are spending billions on space rocks that are just a little over half a mile wide. The answer lies in the comparison between asteroids and time capsules. They developed when planets were still forming in the early solar system. Although asteroids and planets are made up of the same materials, they've not experienced the same geological processes that have formed Earth, such as plate tectonics. They provide a preserved record of the solar system's earliest days, something that Earth cannot offer. Indeed, scientists have found a variety of organic molecules, molecules thought to constitute the foundation of life in asteroids. This suggests that life's essential elements might have existed in the early solar system long before Earth itself started to take shape. The finding of organic compounds on the asteroid Ryugu has opened a fascinating new chapter in our knowledge of the universe. In 2020, the Japanese spacecraft Hayabusa 2 returned fragments from the distant rock Ryugu, a carbonaceous asteroid rich in organic matter. Scientists discovered a wealth of organic chemicals, including amino acids, those essential building blocks of life, after examining these samples. Initial studies of the 4.5 billion year old Bennu asteroid sample have revealed some fascinating discoveries. Researchers have found evidence of water and a high carbon content in the sample, which are indicators that the foundational elements of life on Earth may have come from this ancient rock. These preliminary findings expand on our knowledge of the possible origins of life on Earth. It suggests that the elements necessary for life may have come to Earth from asteroids in the early history of the planet. The largest carbon-rich asteroid sample ever sent to Earth, this sample will aid future generations of scientists in their quest to understand the origins of life on Earth," said NASA Administrator Bill Nelson. At NASA, nearly everything we do aims to provide answers to concerns about our origins and identity. NASA programs like Osiris Rex will provide us with a glimpse into the future while also enhancing our knowledge of asteroids that pose a hazard to Earth. Although the sample has returned to Earth, there is still a ton of research to be done, research that's never been done before," he added. Now, the Osiris-Rex mission, now called Osiris-Apex, is turning its attention to Apophis, a new asteroid. With a diameter of roughly 1100 feet or 340 meters, this near-Earth asteroid will approach Earth closely in 2029. The study of Apophis promises to provide greater insight into these ancient space rocks and their potential to contain hints about the origins of life, even if their chances of striking Earth in 2068 are quite low, roughly 1 in 150,000. Osiris Apex is scheduled to arrive at asteroid Apis in April 2029, shortly after the asteroid's closest approach to Earth. The spacecraft will orbit Apus for 18 months, taking detailed images and mapping its surface while calculating its shape and size and analyzing its composition. In order to better comprehend near-Earth objects and the possible threat they pose to our planet, this mission is essential. Osiris Apex's data will assist us in creating more effective plans to shield Earth from asteroid strikes. The James Webb Space Telescope has recently revealed the mysteries of Arendelle the farthest single star ever observed, situated at the very edge of time.